Hello everybody, um, haven't streamed on here in a while, um, hopefully the internet acts right, I've been getting disconnected a lot lately, so I'm gonna be running through this bonus episode real quick, due to the fact of that happening, so I do apologize if I, uh, you know, go ahead and do that and everything. I don't understand though why it's like this on the uh, menu. Oh, wait, bonus episode of the video. Farewell. All right. Um, my previous videos, I'm gonna have the mic muted so it doesn't take away from the uh, story since this is strictly a story based game so I'm gonna go ahead and mute my mic now and I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, stream hopefully like I said the internet acts right for me to be able to stream the whole entire episode if not I have to possibly just save it onto my PS4 and then just export it over and do it so that way but anyways I hope you guys enjoy Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning, too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. Come on, Max. Help me out here. Find something for me to trash. 
Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd need to throw it away. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It's, it's, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? It's a serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <sighs> Sorry, chum. That's better. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. 
He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just... I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I... I hate fake people. You're... real. Thanks. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge Mom was hoping for, but... at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... I don't know how Holy to... shit. Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> Such so, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's <laughs> treasure ye seek, mine eyes spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what? Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project? Never mind then. I apologize. They mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, 
You've come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full <laughs> of treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Dude, that was hilarious. We were so, so ridiculous. We still are, Max. <laughs> we still are. Okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. But where could it be? Mm. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Chloe's so determined to find the map. I love how when she puts her mind to something, she just doesn't give up. Now, didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, AKA the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. You think it's still there? Should be, as long as the clean police haven't gotten to it first. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. The 
here it is, the dark cavern. Crap, I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. What can I set on top of that crate? there. I just need a few more inches. Not bad for an improvised stepladder, but it's still not tall enough. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago, but Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking? Hmm. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. Most strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. <sighs> it's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Oh, Chloe's parents are so cute.
I think that should be tall enough. There's a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever? There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. I think I can squeeze through now. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. I need to move that cooler, but this desk is in the way. You have to go back. Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. Long Max Silver's eye patch. This will be perfect. different moments this thing is captured.
glad this thing is empty. Finally. Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Lee Price, my best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And Spiders. Ha <laughs> I have you now, Skellywag. Man, I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> Are you just watching me up there, Creeper? You are one of a kind to Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend. That's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. Dark Cavern was no match for ya. Eh? Long Max Silver to the rescue. Treasure sure to be ours, Captain. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Perfect. Wait just a minute. Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot, er, peg, on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Grrrr! One amulet. Coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes... Uh, damn it. I forget how to make this s stay on. Stay here. I'll find something to hold it on. Thanks, Max. Time to stick the amulet to the telescope. Then that treasure is ours. Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> the fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. I 
still wish I could live in the world we drew. I guess Chloe's mom comes all the way back here to smoke. Poor Bongo. Chloe took his death so hard. I miss you, buddy. Score! One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. Me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard! I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were gonna be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. <sighs> Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait. How am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with... something? Here goes nothing. Okay. This drawing is supposed to line up with something. I think the drawing should turn the real world into something piratey. I think I have the... <gasps> Got it. <laughs> yes! You rock! Where is it? Here? Okay. Take a step right. No, no. The other right. My other right or your other right? <sighs> My other right. Got it. Wait. What? Just go that way. Perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo.
That is not what we buried. Is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Aha. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. <laughs> Ahoy there, plank walkers! <laughs> it's me, Buddy Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now, you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary. I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed, and always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. The Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you were so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine? <laughs> How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe. You were really sweet. Oh, man. I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. Oh, 
these memories. I want to look at everything. Holy crap. It's the end of that comic in Chloe's room. Oh, this is gross. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. It's good to see you, old friend. A time capsule was such a good idea. I know, right? We're geniuses. You sure were troublesome to find. You're such a space hog. Move over. Nope. Chloe and I have been friends for so long. No peeking at my work. I wasn't. Get out of here. Chloe looks so content when she's drawing. Is that what I look like when I'm taking pictures? Chloe and I spilled that wine months ago, but I still feel bad about it. Lupin, we used to read every issue from cover to cover. Ah, keep messing up my picture. There are no mistakes in art. Manga might be the one thing where Chloe outnerds me. We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. I love how Polaroid cameras make every photo look a little nostalgic. That's so cool that Chloe's mom is thinking about this. Hey, what if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? Looks like Chloe's a lot more responsible than I am with my allowance. I bet there's some really cute photos in there. I wonder if I could recreate this photo with Chloe now. I wonder if I could recreate this photo with Chloe now. Take a break for a second. This artist waits for no stop. That was worth stopping for. I guess I should try talking to Chloe again about my news. I'm... Yes? Pose for a photo with that? Okay, tip your head back and put your arms out. And a really big smile. <laughs> like this? <laughs> it's perfect. Stop moving.
Really cute, Chloe. You're not so bad yourself. Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. Oh, gosh. I really miss Bongo. I saw you giving him a flower. It was so sweet. Oh, Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Oh, whoa, whoa. Mushiness alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once our parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She didn't seem to want to talk about anything serious upstairs. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Chloe? Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm, um... My family's moving to Seattle. Really soon. Hey. In three days, right? What? You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know? But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess mom and dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding anything. Don't look so worried, Max. It's okay. Come on, Dorkmeister. It's not the end of the world. Why did you pretend like you didn't know? I don't know. I... I guess... I guess I didn't want it to be true. Like... Why ruin the little time we have left? I was thinking that, too. Plus, I know you hate this kind of conversation, so I just left it alone, you know? Come on. I want to spend every minute we have together having fun. I'm so worried that I won't be okay without you. Hey, stop that. Of course you'll be okay. We're Max and Chloe, remember? We're always together. Even when we're not. That's true. Cool. Let's find something fun to do.
Uh, so, I do apologize for not having the music on. Um, there was audio for that last final scene with the recording. Like, I just watched a video of someone playing it. But for a reason... But for a reason, the, uh... The audio was mixed with the music audio, so it didn't play it, so... I apologize about that. I should probably lock the subtitles on because it would have shown up in that. I don't even know why I don't have the subtitles on. Oop. Wrong language. Oh, I just love that subtitle size. Hella large. Large. Normal. They know the fans just by having that. Oh my god. Alright. But yeah, I had the music turned off because of copyright infringement stuff and I tried playing the first episode with the music on and it got like banned in pretty much everywhere because of it. So that's why I decided to just leave the music off when I stream this game because of the fact of that happening. So unfortunately there's that. Uh, let's see, collector mode. Oh, can you not do the uh, the bonus episode with this? I thought I got the junkyard one. I could have sh sworn I had all the uh, stuff because I'm pretty sure I platinum this game. And there's not a single one here because you play Max and not Chloe in this one, so. You don't get the graffiti anything, but I, ho I hope you know the bit size, the awkward point, and the point uh, part of that because of the uh, audio not being there. I hope you guys still did enjoy it. Uh, that did tug at the heartstrings. Um, and I'm hoping for a sequel to this game. I know there's talks about it, but I don't know when it will come out. And I do know for a fact, though, that it's going to be different people, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about that, because I'm already hooked with the uh, original characters from this game and the uh, first game, like the base game, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, uh, I'm going to end the stream, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Good night.